Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles, Foundation for Inner Peace, third edition. So we are in chapter 18, The Passing of the Dream, and this is section nine, The Two Worlds. I'm gonna reread paragraph five. The body will remain guilt's messenger and will act as if it directs as long as you believe that guilt is real. For the reality of guilt is the illusion that seems to make it heavy and opaque, impenetrable, and a real foundation for the ego's thought system. Its thinness and transparency are not apparent until you see the light behind it, and then you see it as a fragile veil before the light. This heavy-seeming barrier, this artificial floor that looks like rock, is like a bank of low dark clouds that seem to be a solid wall before the sun. Its impenetrable appearance is wholly an illusion. It gives way softly to the mountaintops that rise above it and has no power at all to hold back anyone willing to climb above it and see the sun. It is not strong enough to stop a button's fall, nor hold a feather. Nothing can rest upon it, for it is but an illusion of a foundation. Try but to touch it, and it disappears. Attempt to grasp it, and your hands hold nothing. Yet, in this cloud bank, it is easy to see a whole world rising. A solid mountain range, a lake, a city, all rise in your imagination, and from the clouds the messengers of your perception return to you, assuring you that it is there. Figures stand out and move about, actions seem real, and forms appear and shift from loveliness to the grotesque. And back and forth they go, as long as you would play the game of children's make-believe. Yet, however long you play it, and regardless of how much imagination you bring to it, you do not confuse it with the world below, nor seek to make it real. So should it be with the dark clouds of guilt, no more impenetrable and no more substantial. You will not bruise yourself against them in traveling through. Let your guide teach you their unsubstantial nature as he leads you past them, for beneath them is a world of light, whereon they cast no shadows. Their shadows lie upon the world beyond them, still further from the light, yet from them to the light their shadows cannot fall. This world of light, this circle of brightness, is the real world, where guilt meets with forgiveness. Here, the world outside is seen anew without the shadow of guilt upon it. Here are you forgiven, for here you have forgiven everyone. Here is the new perception where everything is bright and shining with innocence, washed in the waters of forgiveness and cleansed of every evil thought you laid upon it. Here there is no attack beyond the Son of God, and you are welcome. Here is your innocence, waiting to clothe you and protect you and make you ready for the final step in the journey inward. Here are the dark and heavy garments of guilt laid by and gently replaced by purity and love. And I'm just going to stop there and pick up paragraph 10 through 14 tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining with me. The Passing of the Dream, Chapter 18, Section 9, The Two Worlds. I love you. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.